cadre. Got to start from the beginning. I don't even have my soap lathered up yet. We're using the SV 2.0 high mountain Manchurian white bed. I forget the, all the names of, in a zero coat handle. Beautiful. Not at bar, uh, Dave in Kentucky. Got himself a bamboo handle one. Man, that thing, that's sweet. Um, just too many burnt, too many soaps, too much stuff out there. Um, I did, I was going to say, I don't want to just start collecting SV, so, what is it, uh, so Pontificio Vericino SV, I just don't want to start collecting SV brushes, uh, but they do have beautiful ones, I wouldn't mind having more than one. I was going to say though, because um, there's just too many other brands out there and stuff, you know, I, I want, it's uh, good to have a variety in your collection. But I was thinking as I was going to say that, so let's see how that, I'm going to, I wasn't planning on doing this, um, but maybe I'll try to face lather again. We're using a Opuntia. Let me go up my face here. And uh, I'm just going to put a little water in my bowl if I can dip the tips. Just it's Sunday morning, have breakfast. Have have my my coffee. Yeah. Um, so just decided we just do a nice luxurious shave here with no rush. Yeah, get some some water going. Uh, oh, what I was saying that uh, while well, I say we need variety. I don't know, I've got five Paladins, and I think more than that of uh, uh, from Eric on the Shaving Cadre. Samadhi you. It goes by Samadhi you on the Cadre. Let's see, so I just got, I got this one. That's, that's Sorrentino. Sorrentino song. All right, let me get to that one. That's Sorrentino. That's two. Yes, we got this one. That's three. Four. Uh, five. Uh, so six. So I keep the, he did the first anniversary, but for, sorry, Eric. Sorry, I don't like it. I don't like it. It's a, it's kind of the, I think it's the two, the two material, but it's a, a green, green. It's not my thing. So I've never used that thing. I still have it though. Part of history, right? First anniversary of the El, El Cadre. Um, yeah, I don't I can get down with this face lathering, I think. I'm gonna have to spend more time doing this. I got another one. I'm gonna. I, I should private message him. I have. I've had an idea of a brush I'd like him to do for quite a while. I don't know if it's been two years yet. Maybe it has been. But at the time, he did not have the equipment to do said brush. He does now. You know, I've mentioned it in passing. Maybe he's waiting on me because I did tell him I need to spread out my purchases. I can't just go nuts. Um, using the old, the old standard these days, Feather SS with a Feather Pro Guard blade in it. Uh, did a couple Zoom calls yesterday. Did one that was a, a straight shave tutorial thing. Help her out. Broadcast from Barber Dave. Um, I did a, a live shave. on that Zoom call. Um, but watching, you can always learn something. You can, like, uh, like I learned, I gotta watch what I do with my hair so I don't mess it up during my shape. Um, watching him, I realized I need to work on my stretching. He does a great job.
I think he's just more thoughtful about it and he repositions his hands more often. Um, and uh, that might be a, for me, might be a pressure thing because sometimes when I bend my neck like this, it gets really tight here and I worry about um, where I'm shaving and the skin's tight and there's not a lot of cushion between like getting bones or whatever uh, that I'm causing a lot of irritation. But I think that would be less of a worry. If I see, see here, I'm still pulling up here and I'm shaving down here. He would, he would come down here and it's tough when you do the long strokes though. He'd come down here and grab some more skin though. But I think it ease up just a little, little touch on. I've been getting weeper last three days. I don't. It must be. We're gonna know we're the same thing over there or something. So not a lot going on today. It's going to be a no, no lecture, no soapbox shave video. So we had the, the Zoom call yesterday for the cadre for the kind of the shape, straight shaving tutorial. And then we had a shorter one in the evening. Um, I've been liking these. I mean, I want everybody to participate and get on. Uh, but with the smaller groups... That's, that's just more my thing. It's a little easier to have conversation and, uh, you know, everybody to participate if they want. Never been, never been a big group guy. So anyway, I enjoyed yesterday's Zoom calls. We got to get Major Rich like a watch that's set ahead an hour or something like that. He's having a rough time with the time zones. I mean, I, I know these are these are new when you when you were a kid. Probably didn't have any time zones back then, but time he's got to catch up. See, you see, I'm doing. I'm still, I'm still pulling up here. I really should come down here. Grab. So I started watching this new show. I don't know, somehow it's targeted ads or everybody's getting bombarded with this called Upload. From uh, Amazon Prime Video. Uh, Pretty kind of interesting. I just after the, the I watched the first episode this morning, and it was enough to. You know, this is tough to. How do you stretch? Hmm. It's interesting on the call they talked about where you can hit like a dense group of hair, and you get a stall. And how important it is to keep the blade moving. That's what I've always experienced when I go with a real straight. It just seems to stall constantly. Anyway. So yeah, this this show upload. I won't say much about it. I found the first episode interesting, but I kind of wondered with the story premise how far I've, you know, it could actually go and be interesting, but, uh, episode two sucked me in, so, I'll keep watching that. Wife wasn't interested, so. See, I got this weird, I don't think Dave ever showed, I do this, it go, comes up. And then I start to do this fan movement and then a slide. I think that's patented. What do you think, Barbara Dave? Can I go up 
and, and fan and then slide up. Is that a patented move? And I realize it's been, it's been a while. You know, most of us cadre guys make the videos for the other guys on the cadre and most have followed for quite a while, but um, it's been a while since I talked to anything about technique or anything most jibber jabber about just, you know, life and stuff. But um, <clears throat> one thing I'll point out, you had noticed when I double edge, when I, when I use a, when I use a razor with a normal handle, my third pass isn't against the grain pass, which on my cheeks is up this way. I don't do that with a straight razor. I do two across the grain passes. And, uh, I don't know if it's a cop-out or not, but I ended up doing it because I was having trouble figuring out how to stretch like here. So I need to, technically you need to stretch here and pull down while you're going up. But I did see Barber Dave, you know, because they say you pull against the direction of your path. But I think he was pulling up here with him. Anyway, I've got enough skin here that I was having a tough time getting enough traction. And... Uh, I don't know, so. Good enough shaver or good enough blade or whatever combo that I get a super good BBS on the cheeks doing this. So I do that, so I do that. Cause it's just easier. So no, re no problem to try to solve. You don't have to do against the grain. I do two across. If I'm using any other type of razor, I have to go up. Otherwise, I won't get the super awesome BBS. And I noticed Dave had to do it like this, but he said this was across the grain going kind of this whole... I don't know how you can see it on the camera, but it's kind of taking this stroke. For me, this is against the grain on the neck. He said, I think he said that's his across the grain. Anyway, don't really matter. And then this right here is the key to whether or not I'm happy the rest of the day. And Dave never heard about the, the nickel area down here. I don't know, just being a barber, you'd think you would need to learn your, your hair anatomy. But, um, it's this part right here, but being able to get BBS here without irritation is 100% about, for me, letting the razor do the work. And then that's the area that's toughest for me to apply no pressure and just trust in the blade. And I'm always wanting to put on more pressure, just to the, the hair there bothers me. I'm unconsciously given more pressure. But when I get the angle right and I let it just kind of slide, see, this is that's perfect right there. I'm not hardly feeling it touch at all. But I can hear the hairs going, so we'll check it out. Oh yeah, that's a good one. That's a good one. All right. So let me rinse the soap off from behind my ears. Dave gave me a hard time. Dave in Kentucky has complained about people that don't clear, clean their ears out. I had like a little touch of soap, but that's not my ear, Dave. The ears, they're up here, man. But yes. Yeah. You gotta clean off everywhere. So there, are we good? Let me look in the camera. This is all right behind here. We good? Let me check. All right, I think we're good. All right. Let's check, check. This stuff smells awesome. A punctia. 
I got out two great smelling soaps. Um, this one, and let me show you. Major Rich is all about this. Nuavia Rosa. Um, but I wanted to slather some decent, some nice smelling scents on my skin after the shave. And with the Rosa, you don't need to do anything. So it's probably the number one, I would think, for scent in my den, just in terms of it's good and it's strong. Aputi, I've got the, there you go. Got the aftershave. What do they even call this stuff? Just aftershave. That's what they call it. It's a, more like a balm, though. It's like a, there might be, I don't know if that's a decorate. Hold on. Aftershave. No, and then that's just the size. You'll see, it's because it's a thick liquid, so it's not like a splash. Hold on here. Let me clean up. I gotta get this alum off my face. Now, the SV aftershaves are not thin little liquids, but they're not a thick balm. They're kind of in between. They're like a, a thick liquid. Drop that dude. If you haven't seen these, uh, you can get these cool, cool stands for the SV razors that sits like that. Oh, beautiful. Man, I was, we had the, the fire department stuff and the, the police out of my work uh, last week for appreciation. Um, And I, and I told, uh, I mentioned on the cadre that they had some cute police dogs. And Fluffy was all over me about, like, you can't call police dogs cute. Because, you know, they're tough. And But just sitting there, all dog looking with, the, with their tongue hanging out and, and all their cuteness. Um, really, they, they just are, what are they, German Shepherds, I think they had. They're pretty dogs. They don't look like they're gonna rip you up. They don't sit there, you know, looking or I just they're just being all doggy. So, so what were we, oh don't forget that there's lemon. So anyway, I don't know what will be happening today. It woke up to to raininess and it's supposed to rain today and tomorrow. Um I was hoping to get out on the porch a bit today, um, but it looks like the sun's starting to come out, so we'll see. I'm, I'm betting that it won't ever dry out. Even if the sun's out, I don't think everything will dry off because it's supposed to come back. Um, so what are we doing? I don't want to don't want to keep you just because I need to wait for some stuff to dry down, especially when I'm going to layer something thicker on. I don't want everything completely wet. Two and one. That stuff doesn't take long to dry. I'm curious. Tell me. Tell me. I don't. It's funny. I don't. Uh, I don't ask. Uh, like and subscribe. Smash the like button. Is that what you smash it? Smash it. Um. But let me know. I'm curious if anybody here never had tried Nivea two and one or Thayer's Lemon and did it. Because I talk about it nonstop. Probably not. But I'm curious. I'm just curious if I could convert anybody into using these guys. Alright, so. Gotta shake these up. Gotta shake them up. So what's awesome is, you see the hole? That is no small hole, man. They want you to be lathered in this stuff. Look at it. Can you see that? It's like a thicker. And it's not... It's see-through, but it's not completely clear. Oh, yeah. This is good smelling stuff. It ain't cheap, I'll tell you that. That's why I need to get over that mindset, but the more expensive stuff is really good, a lot of times you kind of want to set it aside and save it. But, man, I've had this for a while. Where'd my, where'd my soap go? Here's the, the tin of soap. There's plenty in there. 
So I'm not like I'm at risk of running out of this stuff. Again, too many choices, too much to use. Anyway, there we go. Uh, hope you're all having a good weekend. Um, dudes and ladies, late lady, dude, dudes and dudettes. If you are not part of the Cottery, come check us out. Great bunch of guys, all sorts of content. In fact, I was just talking about wallets yesterday and today. I'm a, I need to get a little, little tiny wallet that just hold like three cards and some cash. If you want to know why? I post about it on the on the Cottery forums. I talked about it on the Zoom call. So you can talk about anything there. We got opinions even if you don't want them. It's free. Come check us out. I'll see you on the forums.